Hey, it's Rob Travels with Dottie, and we have the 19th of September, 2024, and I'm coming to you from Pahrump. Quite a bit warmer from Eagle Nest. It's 547, and it's 62 outside, and a balmy 76 inside. And forgive me, the first couple of these may be repeats from yesterday. I got a little confused, and I've got an appointment in 12 minutes, so I didn't, I, I'm a little to get this done early before all the things I have to do today I have to get going. So I may repeat one or two of these. Um, Chip Miller on comments from two days ago says, many thanks for reply, reply regarding Dottie walking in the desert rocks. I'll be in quartzite this fall and winter with my dog. She didn't like the boots, so I decided not to buy them. She has hiked on different surfaces, but not in the desert. Some dogs have a problem, others don't. Dottie did not. Dottie has little boots I tried and only because everybody else was doing it. She's fine. Um, I did, I think the first, I got a little concerned the first year I was there and I got some coconut oil. Someone told me rub a little coconut oil every once in a while on her paws and I still have that coconut oil. Um, Mark Dalton said, the water is being taken from the desert grounds is highly likely to be prehistoric ocean beds. I believe you're right saying that that state water sources have a higher salt content. Well, I, you know, I'll do that home test like for $40 when I get there and I'll let everybody know what the results are. Um, a uh, new thing I did was being a nomad may prolong your life. It's a really an article about how um, the more leisure time you have, the more vacation time from a job and in, in, um, is, uh, is healthy physically and mentally for you. And um, studies show it may help you live longer. And it's really not about vacation. It, it isn't, and I don't think it's about not being at work at all. I think it's about um, changing of environments on a regular basis. And that's what I do. I change my environment now three times a year. And like, um, I, I can remember leaving Pahrump where I wasn't unhappy in Pahrump, but I was ready to move on. So I moved to Eagle Nest for the summer and I was enthralled. And then right a couple of days before I left to come back here to Pahrump, I got really missing Pahrump and I got here and I've been giddy because it's just, you know, it's a new environment again. And I just, and then I'm going to, in two months, I'm going to be going to Quartzsite and I'll be just as giddy about Quartzsite. And I really think being a nomad may prolong your life. I believe it. Um, Sue Weiss said, good info, good video, thank you. Um, she also says, when I feel depressed or anxious, I plan a trip to nature. It doesn't have to be long to reset my mind. I call it tree therapy. And I call it change your environment. Change what you're in front of. Um, it, you know, stimulate yourself. Um, uh, Color Creativity says, very interesting. This is all in the same news video. Lisa Roth makes a lot of sense, Rob. Thanks for bringing it up. Um, Ken Gray says, new experiences are definitely revitalizing. Right on. I think spot on, Ken. And um, let me just say that <coughs> um, before we move on is that I what I think about, my kind of analogy is if you've ever commuted to work and you drive to work, um, and someone asks you, so what did you see and who did you see on your way to work and asks you specific questions about things on your route to work, you'll be, I have no idea. I don't remember any of it because we get on autopilot when we have repeat repetitive input, sensory input, sight, sound, and we start filtering stuff out and we're not present in the moment. So when we see new things, we're trying to find new things or things we haven't seen in a while, um, we're invigorated because we're, we're, our, we're we, it, it creates a mechanism to put us in the moment, in the now. You've heard lots of phrases, phrases is about be in the now, be present. Well, changing your environment helps you do that. Some, in some ways forces you to do that. Ken says on your comment video from yesterday, perhaps two 30 or 40 minute, 45 minute videos. That's a good suggestion, but that hasn't worked out well for me in the past. It's like people will watch the first one, then the second one doesn't get as many views. And I think because people see it pop up and go, well, I'm not going to watch that. I haven't seen part one. So 
Um, what I did was I, I cut it down. I think it was, it ended up being a little over an hour. Um, I'm going to release it this morning, but uh, apologize for not just having two videos instead of three yesterday. Um, I have two videos that are ready to go only because it both of them took like into the late night to fully upload and process for some reason yesterday. Don't know why. That's just the way it was. M. Campbell says, glad to see you and the pets made it safely to Pahrump. Yeah, I got here a day, a day early. I pushed it um, on Tuesday and got here Tuesday instead of Wednesday. Um, Ken Gray says, CB radio is a good idea. You can get handheld ones for 50 or $60. Gene editing. I would like a longer beard. More seriously, there's no technology that will not be turned toward vanity. This is a normal progression. Unfortunately, I think Ken's spot on. Ken, I'm getting the feeling Ken is a pretty intelligent guy. For getting lost going to camp, you can get a mini GPS smart tracker for vehicles. It's hard to find one without a prescription, but it could be worth the $20. For the water, Berkey specifically says it will not remove salt. Um, you know, Ken, I'm thinking you could put that tracker on my trailer. Um... So can you access it like from your phone? That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Let me look in. I'm going to look into that. And the CB, you know, I, I, I started driving in the 70s. CBs were a big deal. Everybody, all my friends had a CB. A handheld one might be a good idea. Only, I hesitate only because I don't travel that much. I just bounce from these three places. So that's like six. Um, here to Quartzsite. And Quartzsite and back is a one-day trip. I don't even stay overnight. And between here and New Mexico, it's a two- or three-day trip. So those are my... I only take two long ones a year. And long, I consider two or three days. And the other ones are a day. Um, let's see. Uh, colored creativity. I'm new here. After Pahrump, you're headed to Q. What is what is the Q? Just curious. I'm glad you made it safely to Trump. It's Quartzsite, Arizona. It's the big mecca for nomads and RVers in the winter. Um, I have a whole playlist on Quartzsite if you're curious. And you're welcome to, to look at those, ask more questions, whatever. Randy. Hello, Randy. Glad you made it safely. I got nervous for you. Thank you. There for a minute or two. I think she was, uh, this is the ride with me on the road to Nevada, the day one trip. There was, there was a little bit of uh, mini drama on that trip. Um, oh, you, you can watch the video to find out, but I had brake problems, tire problems, rain problems, sm uh, potential fire problems. It was quite, I, I, it, it was quite, quite dramatic actually. Um, so in other words, we need to take more vacation. They need to make a lot, at least four, two week vacations a year. That sounds great to me. Now, so there are companies like in Europe that, that do something close to that a lot more. Um, but again, it's not vacation. It's change. I think it's changing environment and changing input. Down the first, so convenient having the laundromat so close. You can do one. This is my new camp. I did a short on that. So if you want to see the new camp, before you watch today's long form video, which isn't, I actually think it's tomorrow in the long form video, you'll see the, the whole camp, but you can go to my shorts feed and there's shorts, my new camp. 60 Clo, Clo, welcome back. Randy says, glad to see you made it safe. This is all on the short for the new campground. Joseph, your camp is very cool. Excellent. Um, Ken Gray says, should get some decent shade there, too. Yeah, I've got a lot of trees. Susan Jack, glad you made it. Um, and uh, a un indecipherable generic with <laughs> screen name is, where is this an answer? Perump, Nevada, preferred RV resort. M. Campbell sound, you sound so happy. I am. I totally am. That's the new input. Um, Anne-Marie Sikorsky, another very intelligent person the definition of acronym CRISPR is clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats i'm glad you dotty and george are safe back in Pahrump. well that's CRISPR gene editing that's what it means this is definitely an issue in my household oh she is commenting on life-changing info um it's about how i got developed an eating problem not a disorder but an eating problem based on an experience 
that I had with my father and what behaviorally came from that. Um, this is definitely an issue in my household as a child, especially coming from my father. And yes, both my parents experienced the depression firsthand. Thanks, Rob. Footnote, what a special relationship you had with your father. I did. So you need to dig for this one. It's not like a year old, but it's called Life Changing Info. Um, life Changing if Info Quickly, it says. Um, you overeat because is the thumbnail. It's a picture of a kid. And uh, what is it called, though? I life changing info quickly. Okay, life changing. Um, let's see. Let's and I think that's it. And um, it's time for me in two minutes to have my little my little meeting. And I'm glad you joined me for comments today. And it was short because I only had the news video and um, what's the other one? Oh, and the comment video. So that's all I had. But in a few minutes, well, after my meeting, in about an hour, I'll release the long-form video that's over an hour of driving through some of the most spectacular territory in in the uh, in the West, and it's it's amazing, um, from the wilderness of New Mexico all the way through the city of Las Vegas, and then over the hump to Pahrump. Over the hump means over the pass into Pahrump, and and you'll get uh, then. I don't give you the tour of my new spot because I was going to put it on that video, but I was so excited when I got here. I didn't, I just was, I saw my new, my old friends. It was great. So anyway, take care and I'll see you tomorrow.